morning. So I thought I would do a daily vlog today. It's actually not the morning at all. I feel like it's like probably half one. Could even be later. I slept in all morning. Like my alarms are going off. I just was snoozing them. Then my phone died, so they just stopped. The alarm stopped coming, and it's a Monday morning. I feel like I've absolutely wasted it. And I thought I would vlog just to get me in like a good mood, basically. Me and Charlotte have some cutesy plans. I have a few like worky bits to get done. Um, really, really want to do some like depopping tonight, and I really need to do my tax return. So that's the outlook of the day super super fun me and charlotte are going to canary wharf today to go ice skating though so that's a fun bit and we're also going to eat at sticks and sushi which i'm so excited for i've literally never eaten at sticks and sushi and if you know me like sushi that kind of cuisine is like my favorite place to go but it's like so expensive that i very rarely get to go but they've invited us down to try it out so buzzing for that really really excited i think we're heading there like quite a bit later they're like seven o'clock ish so I just need to get ready for the day and do a few bits beforehand, need to do my makeup. Really cool, got a PR package from, well it's from ASOS, but it's a pair of Converse and I am in love. I've literally never owned Converse in my life. I've never had anything Converse. Um, so I picked out the, this is PR. Um, just like a really nice pair. I don't know what the actual name of this is, but they're like platformy. Because basically, I one time back, back in, I was probably like 17. I vividly remember I really wanted a pair of black Converse. I think I wanted like the all black leather ones though. And I tried them on in the shop and I remember thinking my feet looked like so long. I'm like a size six and a half, I would say. I used to always be a six, but I actually think I'm a six and a half now. Um, I remember putting them on, I just felt like my feet looked so long. It kind of put me off for life. However, I always feel like when you go for like a platform shoe, it kind of, I love them so much. Um, it kind of doesn't make your feet look as long. I don't know if that makes sense, but to me, they don't look like very big shoes. Like, they kind of do on camera, but like, they don't... Like, when I got these out of the box, I was like, oh, these aren't gonna fit, they look really titchy. They do, and nobody fucking told me. Converse are literally the comfiest thing ever. Like, I put my feet and I was like, fuck, these are so comfy. I don't know if they're all as comfy as this one, because I feel like this is a bit of a different design, because it's kind of like this, rather than like, with the black lines like usual. But yeah, super, super comfy, and wearing them a six and a half, so I'd say they're pretty true to size. Like, they're quite narrow, but I have really narrow feet, so it works really well for me. Um, and yeah, I just love them so much, so I'm excited to style them up. I'll put a link down in the description. Let us go and see what my flatmate of only two and a half more weeks is up to. Oh, look. There she is. <laughs> there she is. Wow. Super flexible. God. Can I give them a kiss? Forehead kisses. Okay, Emma Chamberlain. Um, I had no ice cube, so my iced coffee has been... I basically pulled all of my window down and it's just been sat on top of there trying to get cold. I can't wait for today! Um, you're going into labour in the next couple of days. That's quite exciting. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Guess what, we've synced up on our periods. Yeah, we synced up That's yesterday. Nice. And bear in mind, Charlotte doesn't have periods. It's really quite it's quite a big moment when really. we sync up. Hmm. I have to shove out some heads soon in a few days. Thank you. Why well, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused about the labour joke. Coming to like break a leg or something. I'm not very good at ice skating. Well, this is the thing is I'm really bad when I start and by the end I feel like I'm a pro. And at one time my mum went ice skating and like broke her kneecap or something and her whole right. leg sort of and I think it always makes me think I'm gonna do that. And then my other friend went ice skating and her friend ran over her finger. Yeah, I've so had now a I just get like the horror stories. Yeah. Those stories. Because yeah. you obviously want to put your hands down, but then surely it can't be that busy that I don't think I'm. This is so rude. I don't think I'm stupid enough to like leave my hands on for too long. I, I think I'd fall and then I'd go. <laughs> I see. I wouldn't even consider not putting my hands down. No, oh, no. It's and I'd put my hands down and then I'd move them because I'd be like, what in case someone skates? I wouldn't even think of that. I think I would just be on the floor. I don't think. I didn't even think when you said like, surely I went my hands down. I didn't. That must be a thing, like a rule of ice skating. Don't put your fingers on the ground. Well, they should give you like to do that to gloves. stop you though, and then. But I don't think I'd think if I was like, oh, but like, oh. And then whoosh, my finger's gone. But I think it's not only the person you're with that takes your finger wise. off. Oh. Because like, you're together, do you know what I mean? So they, they right. slice your finger. Yeah. So that's why I thought basically I'd do a daily vlog because if anything does happen, yes, I may lose a finger, but we've got the memories forever. And this video is sponsored by Nivea. Nivea, Nivea, Nivea. Nivea. Nivea, Nivea, Nivea. Nivea. Let's just game. Oh, hum. We're taking turns. You have to hum a song, but you're not allowed to open your mouth. Mm -hmm. And everyone has to get it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Can't think of a song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You make me happy. Correct. Right, your turn. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
catch a grenade for ya! For any miles? Nope. No. Are you joking? No. I thought you were doing it on purpose, like making, making me, you know, no, that thing where no. you go for purpose for longer. Go, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Like, if you didn't get it straight away, I was like, God, this is gonna go on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic. Yes. Redeemed myself. I hate like when I go for something and it like doesn't come out exactly like yeah. the, where I thought it was gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Well, I don't> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Countries of the world. <laughs> Just keep going, yeah. Okay, UK. Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> Ireland. Norway, France, Sweden, Spain, Denmark, Portugal, Luxembourg, Germany, Russia, Albania, Poland, Estonia, Greece, Ukraine, Hungary, Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, <laughs> Slovakia, Vatican City, Egypt, Italy, Ghana, Uganda, Guyana, South Africa, Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Chad, Jordan, Namibia, Malawi, I literally knew you were about to say that, <laughs> Madagascar, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Iran, Sudan, Iraq, Israel, Yemen, Palestine, Morocco, Japan, China, India, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Tasmania, <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> this is where someone's like, that's not a country. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you think this whole vlog's me as naming countries, you're right. <laughs> so it is the evening now, much later, and we finally, well, I finally got ready for the day. You were actually so up and early, ready this morning um, while I slept through the entire day. But we're off now to Canary Wharf. We've had a few dilemmas. But yeah. it's basically, I didn't really look at so this, this PR guy, because it's like through PR, the ice skating. I didn't really look at the tickets, because he had like attached some tickets to an email. I was like, oh, perfect. We've got our ice skating tickets. Lovely. Like, I didn't study the ticket. Yeah. And then I looked a minute ago, and it says two o'clock. And we're meant to be booked in for five. Yeah. So we're still going. And I'm going to have to just explain to them and like maybe show them the emails. I don't know. And be like, oh, it is meant to be five. <laughs> but we're a little bit worried that we may just get completely turned away from ice skating. Yeah. So if not, we'll maybe just go shopping or something. Yeah. I don't really know. We'll see. And hopefully that'll be fine because I actually am really Sorry, wanting to go ice skating. skating. So we'll see. If not, still buzzing for the sushi. So yeah. Like. Worth I'm it. sold on sushi, yeah. I wanted to go there so well like literally I, I think I said this yeah. going for so long but then I've I feel like I said this before like even like moving to London because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're well, in Oxford as well but uh never been to that either. But yeah, anywho, we're in our little cozy outfits and we're in Charlotte's coat. I think I've worn this before in a vlog, but I'll link as much as I can of like outfits. Um and I'm also giving the Converse their first outing. Their first spin. So far, they're feeling really comfy, but I feel like I've probably done about. <laughs> I've probably done about 50 steps in them, so I'll let you know how comfy they are. But they're feeling good. I'm feeling good, and I'm excited for a cute evening. Don't we? we haven't yeah. seen each other in ages. No. We've been it's in a long distance long. relationship, yeah, for a while now. <laughs> I just love like all the lights. I think it's the reflections, isn't it? It's the ref lights and reflections. It's at night time. Like, I mean, it looks nice in the day as well because it's like tall buildings, but like having all of the yeah, little like windows nice. of lights. It reminds me of that time we stayed in Ulgate for your birthday mm. and we we're both like just looking out at this like gorgeous view like, we want to move to London so yeah. bad. Aww. Aww. But we've located the item. It's actually right by the tube station, Canary Wharf tube station. It's yeah. here. It's a four oh. minute walk. It literally took us a minute. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're really generous with their walks. Like, when you just get it, So skates are on and I've suddenly realised I can't skate the shirt. 
but I don't yeah, know what I was thinking. I thought I was good at this and just put them on my feet, I already feel uncomfy. Charlotte's scaring me because she's saying if I don't make them tight enough, I'm going to break my ankles. No, no. Just imagine if fears. we end this in one of my vlogs and it's like, I broke my ankle. I was like, like, I'm in hospital. Right. I'm in hospital. No, it's fine. I'm just going to be like, this always happens and nothing's going to happen. Right, and now you've jinxed it. No, but like, um, I'm saying it always happens. I don't even think I can stand up on normal service. Like, come. This is. Mm. Mm. I don't. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna really fall already. Really. Okay, guys, a revelation. I can't ice skate <laughs> at all. No, she's just panicking. She'll be fine on the set. Cut, cut music for a bit. Yeah. I'm basically clinging onto the edge like a child <laughs> because I can't move. No, you show the size down. Oh my god! Look at her go! Look at her go! That's good, that's good! Oh my god, yay! <laughs> I'm literally like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that girl that videoed her boyfriend like on the ice skate. So we find in a sec, you just haven't done it in a while. Exactly. Just gotta get my I'm shitting myself. Are you? Yeah. I'm <laughs> she's crying because she hasn't even done that lap of the ice thing and she hasn't got used to the eyes and she's worrying she can't ice skate when she actually can. She's just getting used to the eyes. <laughs> she's crying. <laughs> I'm pissing. <laughs> Wow, little fancy. Finished ice skating. I have well and truly been humbled. <laughs> My god complex is down. <laughs> um, we need to cross this road now. Um, yeah, I'm not good at ice skating. The thing is, like, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it by the end. I had to like, hold on to Charlotte constantly. <laughs> But it was really fun, and it, the good thing is, is the rink was quite quiet. I think it was busy. I'd been way more overwhelmed. Yeah, I'd yeah, had way nice more breakdowns. Chill. Every four seconds, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a really nice rink, and it just looks Ooh, amazing. Like, it's just behind it. Cooler out here than in the ring. It is. Maybe um, it's we were being active. Funny. It said it was literally here. Maybe it will be able to see it. So we're heading to Sticks and Sushi now, and I truly need it because she's a stressed little girl after that. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it was very fun. You? It's meant to be here. Yeah. Cute little view behind you. Everything and, smells incredible. Oh my god, it literally smells so good. We've ordered like quite a lot of different dishes so we can like pick, pick, try lots of different things. So we're still waiting on a few, but I want to show you the one that we've got already. Um, what's that called? Ebby. Ebby bites. Ebby bites, like prawn, prawn. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Bread um, some salty edamame. I think this was a crab croquette. Some like sticky rice, and then these are scallop. <laughs> now a journey back from canary wharf is nice got the tube it's actually a really quick journey like i always feel like canary wharf is like quite east from where we are like it looks like it should take away longer but it only takes us like 35 minutes so it's not actually too bad at all we're back home we've just been chilling for a minute um put up some stories of tonight the food was incredible at sticks and sushi although i actually ate so much i was at the table like, i actually thought i was gonna be sick like i was like charlotte i don't know what to do like, i'm literally gonna be sick because i always think that i can eat so much sushi because it's like it like, it's quite small and light and I'm like, mm, you know, just like bits of salmon here and there. I feel like I can eat so much, but Christ, I was literally like, and I didn't want to leave any because it was so good. So I was like shoveling it in like so full, but it was literally incredible. So glad we went. I'd really recommend it. The best thing on the menu by far was, um, yeah, what was the actual name of it? I put it on my story. I can't remember. It's like um, these scallops that come in this like, crispy layer thing and they've got some kind of like aioli oh great oh no that's that's the fridge beeping i thought it was the camera beeping god that was a lot yeah these scallops i think they're on page three you have to get them oh my god we were saying it's probably like one of the best things we've like ever eaten like in the top five things we've ever eaten that would be my number one recommendation and now we're gonna have a little work session it's not actually um that late my phone's dead uh Okay, it's 5 to 11, so it's quite late. What I am going to actually do is crack open a coffee. 
Curry, curry, why are you having a coffee at 5 to 11? Costa coffee caramel latte to fuel me through a little work session because I have actually got a bit of a headache, which is probably actually due to the fact I apparently don't drink water anymore. So let's just chug this. Ah. kid you know those like impressions of kids on tiktok where they're like glugging and they're like ah, at the end yeah. do you know what i mean i have been pretty bad at work at the minute like i've just been <laughs> i've just been quite lazy is the only way to really describe it i feel like do you know how everyone like <laughs> you're making me laugh i'm not talking about anything funny <laughs> You know how at the start of the year everyone has like, they're like, oh, going back to work phase. I feel like I felt quite motivated at the start and suddenly I've just got into this like weird hole. I feel like January is like a really weird time for this job because it's like, there's kind of like not as much going on, which would make it seem easier. But I feel like it's just like made me like ignore my emails and like get a bit behind with like things I have to do and editing and all of that jazz, vlogging, everything like that. So I'm going to have a little work session with my coffee and some Ben and Jerry's. Even though I've just gone about how full I am, I do think there's room for some dessert. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Actually. Okay, so it's like two-ish now, I think, and I'm finally getting ready for bed. Quite a productive little evening, to be honest. Like, I don't know why I've still got these eyelashes on. Um... Yeah, I had quite a productive evening, replied to pretty much, I'd say like 80% of my emails, which is good going, and also like got a couple of bits of editing done that I needed to do. My room, <laughs> you can't tell because you're at a good angle, but I'm basically sat amongst like fucking millions of clothes, so got like quite a big to-do list to do in the morning, which is never ideal, but I think I'm going to get into bed and watch an episode of Emily in Paris. I'm not actually that tired yet, I think because I got up quite late. Also, I'm going to really quickly fill my eyebrows in with, um, fill my eyebrows, tint my eyebrows with this product. It's called Bay Brow, or the, the brand is Bay Brow, I think. And then this is like their main product. It's basically just like a brow dye. Applicate like a, um, lipstick basically. And you just put it on and leave it on for like, I don't know five minutes and then wipe it off also i thought i haven't really said on vlog yet so our tenancy runs out and i basically don't have anywhere to live yet like i've looked at apartments and apartments i've looked at flats um so basically i'm potentially going back to my mum and dad's house for like a month it feels like a bit of a backward step like i love being in london so much i'm so glad the thing is so when me and Charlotte moved in together, because I think people are like, why are you two not living together again? But basically, we always knew it was going to be a year. Like, it's not like we, Charlotte, are suddenly, like, <laughs> moving out because we hate each other or something. Like, we literally always knew that um, we're going to live together for a year because Charlotte's moving in with her boyfriend. And he was basically doing a master's when we first moved in together. So we're always going to do a year. And I thought, like, perfect. I can decide if I like living in London. Like, a year with my best friend. Amazing. Um... But I do think I definitely want to stay in London. Like, I was umming and ahhing a little bit, like, whether this would be a really good time to maybe, like, do some other things. Or, like, even at one point I was like, do I just fucking go to another city? Like, do something really weird. But now I've lived in London, I just want to stay here another... Maybe, like, another two or three years. I'm not really sure. We'll see. I can't think that far in advance. But I do want to stay here. The only problem is, is like, I would love to live on my own, but I honestly just cannot afford it. When I tell you London rent is just killing me off. I basically, like, very much spend everything that I earn. Like, I'm not having any savings. And I've even like contemplated recently about like maybe getting like a part-time job or like a full-time job. I don't really know. I feel a little bit like confused in my life at the minute. I don't really know like what I want to do. Like if I want to do this forever or if I want to do something alongside this. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm in a little bit of a pickle about all of that. Um, so I can't really like, I've had a few questions about it actually. Like, oh, what are you doing? Because um, Charlotte's uploaded like a few things about the flat. So I think people have been like, oh, what are you doing? And the answer is I can't tell you because I don't really know. Like it's very up in the air. I'm going to go to some flat viewings, see if we can find somewhere. That's basically the plan. If you want an update on that, I can't really give you one because I don't know what I'm doing. So like, I've been looking at jobs a little bit. And I was thinking like maybe I'm making a bit of an error in that like I'm not literally getting any savings. I'm not really somebody to think about like the future. But I started thinking, like, if I wanted to buy a house or something in, like, five years, I need to start saving now, like, just a little bit. And I have, like, no savings to my name. Nothing. So, yeah. That's maybe on the cards. I don't know. I'll keep you updated. I'll show you any flats we go and view or anything like that. But, um... 
I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm stressed. But anyway, I basically just get water on a little cotton round and wipe it off. And that's it, it's literally like five minutes and it means, oh my god, ignore. I was actually scratching my gels off and I've got like these little manky bits of red on. Um, really desperate need to get my nails done. But yeah, that's basically it and I feel like they just look a little bit like better naturally and then when I'm actually doing my makeup I just put brow gel on now because they're a little bit darker. It means I don't have to like actually fill them in or like use pencil or anything like that. So that's my current go-to bay brow. But yeah, gonna get into bed and watch... Um, Emily in Paris are going to end this vlog. Hope you enjoyed another little daily vlog. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and I will see you soon for another video.